wanted to tell you about how I use this cool tool called the Pathfinder to find out where to put my beehives. If you're into bees, you know that there's specific places that you want them and there's going to be places you don't want them. When you're initially setting up for setting up for uh, where you want to put them, it kind of helps to know what the what the climate or specifically where the sun's going to be year round and that can be very difficult to do. This was not my initial uh, location sticking them up here like this. I'm very happy that I had this tool to tell me exactly where the sun was going to be all year round at a, just a quick glance. It's called the Solar Pathfinder. It's very easy, very easy to set up. Non-technical at all. No electricity. Let me uh, show you how this works real quick. Uh, this is a reflective dome that reflects the skyline from this location. I'm going to take it off just for a second and show you how this sets up. Um, this right here, this is the compass. You set that so that it's pointed south or north. It, north is that way, south is that way. You just orient it so that it's pointed correctly. And this bubble right here, sort of like a what you'd see on a um, on a level, make sure you level it. Uh, make sure it makes sure that it's level. Uh, and then, then the thing is set up. Once those two, once the compass and the bubble are aligned properly, then it's set and ready for reading. These lines that move up here, you see this. I don't know if you can see it on this video or not, but there's the number five, six, seven, eight. These lines move up across like this. They signify the hours of the day. From five until ten, eleven, twelve is right here, and that line moves up that way. And one, two, three, four, all the way down to seven o'clock in the evening over here. That's these lines that that you see uh, moving uh, vertically up this chart. These arcs across that move this way, those are the sun path, and there's 12 of them. You probably can't see them on this, on this video clearly, but there's 12 of them, each one representing where the sun will be in the sky for all months of the year. So now when I place this dome back on top here, you'll notice that there is a reflection you can see through the dome at those arcs, and then there's a reflection all the way around here, which indicates the shadow or what's going to block the sun's rays at uh, at all times. And all you have to do to find out where whether this area will be in the shade or in the sun is follow the arc. Say this this arc right here is about for April, and you can see that this area is in the sun at seven o'clock in the morning. Um, during April, during the uh, well, honey flow season, when we get uh, early April or late April, we start having some good nectar flow. Um, and then right at about here, this area, now all through the, these summer months down in here, this area right in here is in the shade at about 12:30 or 1 o'clock, some of the hottest part of the day here in Tennessee. This this area is in is in the shade, actually. This tree right here sh is shading this area. So in the summertime, in the summer months, I've got the bee, uh, the beehives are in the sun first thing in the morning, warming up, and when it's starting to get really hot about noon, they're in the shade. This whole area is in the shade. Now in the winter months, this is what's really cool, uh, the Pathfinder told, uh, showed me that in this area, in the winter months, when it's the coldest, I'm still in the sun first thing in the morning, right over in here, but I stay in the sun all the way until about 3 or 4 o'clock, uh, eh, about 3, 3.30. Uh, this area is still in the sun. Not only that, but there's sun filtering through this tree in the wintertime that I wouldn't normally have had. So this was the best place I felt for the, uh, for the hives, and the Pathfinder told me that just by, uh, you know, told me that real quick, and I didn't have to try, you know, I set these hives up once, and I know they're in the best place in this particular location. Just as comparison, uh, this was my initial location of where, somewhere else in the property where I wanted to put the beehives, and uh, I could tell at, you know, in the summertime when I was setting these things up, or in the springtime rather, it's hard to tell exactly what would be going on in the winter. And uh, the Pathfinder told me right away that this area is not going to see any sunshine until about nine, uh, almost nine o'clock. And so the beehives wouldn't be seeing any sun until nine, yet 
in the summertime, when it's the hottest, they'd be in the sun until 4.30 in the afternoon here. And uh, that's just, that's way, in, the, in our summer months, that's way too hot. So they weren't, the hives weren't as protected as well as I would like them to be. So I chose, ultimately chose uh, another location.